In this quick video I will show how to make a caustics effect for the default water plugin by Epic. There are two passes for this effect with the first being a subtle one on the surface of the water. Next is the one on the water bed which will be visible when the player is underwater. You can see it is not casting on the bridge's shadow area although this is up to you. This effect is for when light can pass through the water and so realistically you would only add it to more shallow water or ones where light rays are actually going through enough. Here is the caustics effect for a different map which is a rural Australia asset. The caustics on the surface are more visible for this one as it is a larger lake. I made the caustics underwater more visible as well since it is very shallow water. The swimming shown in this video is from an earlier tutorial in the water series although it is not required to follow along with the caustics. First we need a caustics texture. I used this free caustics generator tool and I will link it in the description. Once you download the tool, extract and open it. Click this automatic preview to preview it live. I will make the width and height 1032 so it is higher quality. I increased the subdivisions to 64. The background color I set to 0, 0, 0 since we need it to be in a black background. You can adjust the values to your liking. It might take some time to update if you are using higher values. Enable save output and press render image. This should save the image into the same folder as the tool. I will make a folder in engine for the caustics effects. Import the texture. You can see it looks realistic and high quality. First we will apply caustics directly to the water material.c. Click on the water body and navigate to the material. Make a copy of it. Apply it as the new material. Open and search for caustics in it. Enable it. These values can be adjusted to your liking and I just trialed add errored with them until it looked good for me. It's not actually showing up in the lake. This is due to the waves as waves are needed for it to actually show caustics. I will just set it directly by setting the wave source to a water wave and not asset reference as shown. It shows up now but looks too large and unrealistic. Play around with the wavelength and amplitude values until it looks good for your water and size. Try to make it subtle since the underwater effect can still usually be seen out of water so we don't want to overdo it. Adjust the instance parameters as well to your liking. Here is how it looks in game. It's usually more visible from a further distance as shown in the Australia example and this is a small pond so it is less visible. Now I will make the decal material to use. This material is partly based on this great and complex tutorial by Ben Cloward so you can check his video out if you want a more advanced one as this is just a more simplified version. Link will be in the description. Open the material and set the material domain to defer decal. Make the blend mode translucent. Translucent materials don't work well usually with the water plugins post processing but we can adjust the emissive amount to compensate. First add an absolute world position node. Multiply the XYZ value by a very small value. We need to do this since Unreal uses centimeters by default which makes the effect too small. This scales it up. Next get two component masks. First will be green blue and second will be red blue. This is basically splitting the X and Y components. Make a flow two of these. Then drag out and add two panners. Panner nodes can move a texture using the speed input. The coordinate is used for the scaling. Hold 2 and left click to add a vector to. Set both values to 0.1 and multiply it before setting it as the first speed. Make a scalar parameter for the B value with a default value of 0.5 to slow it down. 
Duplicate the vector 2 and set y to minus 0.1 and multiply it by the same parameter. This is for the second parameter and will change the direction so it looks like two different warping texture effects. Multiply both panners by a scalar parameter called global scaling. This will let us easily change the size of the caustics in material instances. Now drag in the caustics texture. You can also use two differently rendered textures here if you want to make it even more random. Now add the RGB of both to combine the two. Multiply this by a scalar parameter called emissive with a default value of 1. Finally multiply it by a vector parameter for the color which I will set to white by default. Connect this to the emissive color. You can see when I change it to a cube preview mesh the caustics show up on the top. I will now comment the code. Now I will add it to the scene which is a Japanese style garden I made. Right click on the material and create a material instance so we can change the parameters easily. Search for decal actor and add it. Make sure the material is set to the caustics instance we made. You can see the caustics is showing up in the bottom. I will rotate and adjust the box extent so it covers the whole bottom of the pond. You can see it is now showing up under the pond and looks nice. Make sure to play the game and test it multiple times to ensure the extent is accurate. Now open the material instance and minimize or move it to another monitor to see the changes in real time. If it looks too bright you can reduce the emissive multiplier. The global scaling can also be changed to make the effect smaller or larger. Caustics usually look nicer when it is large however so I wouldn't recommend making it small but it is up to you. You can also make it slower or faster using the speed multiplier but again caustics usually look better when slow and is more like that. You can set the color to whatever you want. I left it as white since the post process makes it look blue anyway. In this map you can see the bridge casts a shadow. If you don't want this you can just use two different decals to avoid the shadow area. Finally, you can see the caustics are showing up on the player. If you want this you can keep it as it is but if you don't, then open the character blueprint. Select the mesh and search for receives decals. Uncheck it. Keep in mind this will prevent any other decals from showing up on the player too. So if you want the player to receive a different decal you will need to dynamically set this value based on if in water or not. Adjust any of the values used to your liking. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. The swimming shown in this video is available as project files in the link in the description but no not contain this caustics effect. The completed water series project files will include everything including this effect and other exclusives which will be released on the project's completion. Thanks for watching.